music warriors and those alike, I am creating this series for you to show you what kind of lifestyle a musician and a violinist especially generally leads. So what I do when I wake up, what I do during the day, when do I go to bed, what kind of activities <laughs> and what kind of work does it require for me to actually do what I do every day. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find it interesting. I hope that it inspires you to do more work on your own direction to basically achieve your goals, to not be discouraged whenever things happen, whenever something comes up. And we're really here all just to make comfortable, happy lives for ourselves. So to me, that's my philosophy on life. So you'll be hearing here all about my gigs, my morning jobs, my evening jobs, my teaching jobs, <laughs> my production jobs for my album that I'm really excited to share with you too. And I really hope you enjoy every step of the way of my journey because I really enjoyed making this video for you. So let's get going. Good morning, warriors. So I'm just up. Here's my bed. <laughs> Bit of a mess around. I'm gonna fold those later after my gig today. So today's a big day. I'm gonna show you what I do as my morning routine. So first thing, I'm heading to the bathroom, of course. <laughs> I'm gonna brush my teeth and everything. And one cool trick I use these days is I like to use coconut oil to properly cleanse my teeth. I put it in a little jar like this. So this is empty right now. But the actual coconut oil jar looks like this is pretty big. I don't want to spill it. <laughs> there. There we go. Woohoo! That's heavy. I'm gonna put it down. <laughs> and what I found it's good for. It helps me keep my teeth clean because it has antibacterial properties. And I basically use it for any type of inflammation anywhere else in my body as well. So here is the bouquet that I got this last weekend at the Taste of Russia Festival. Thank you guys so much. And I have buckets of water everywhere because my building decided that they're gonna do something with water today. So I might not have water in the evening. So I'm saving that up for that time. And I'm gonna make some breakfast, tea, pack my lunch, and I'm gonna go to work. So what I do with coconut oil, I put a little dab in here, just enough for my mouth, and I heat it in the microwave, and then I take it in my mouth for 15 to 20 minutes. While I'm doing that, <laughs> I have time to do something that doesn't require me talking. So I can make food, I can pack lunch, I can, you know, put together my outfit for the performance tonight, and yes so let's go so i just microwaved it for about 20 seconds i'm gonna take it in my mouth and rinse my mouth um gonna do these kind of moves like what you do when you rinse it with water and afterwards i'm gonna spit it out in a garbage bin so don't spit it in a sink if you guys are using the same thing because you know coconut oil has this very dense texture when it solidifies and it can clog your pipes so make sure you spit it in the garbage stay clean <laughs> So it's 10 minutes later guys and I rinsed my mouth with coconut oil. I like to sometimes put it on my lashes and eyebrows because it helps them grow <laughs> and moisturizes overnight. So one more thing I do is this is now water, very special water that my father makes. Super healthy for you, light water <laughs> and that's the only thing I drink other than tea. <laughs> I don't even drink juices because they contain too many additives and chemicals. So what I do with this is I drink it and I rinse my, my nose with it. I've started doing that and since I started doing that, I stopped getting sick. Um, I have a lot of students coming in with flu and fever sometimes into their lesson and I was getting sick a lot last year. Ask anyone, I had like three flus in a row. <laughs> so I don't want to do that anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this, snort it up in my nose and have it come out through my mouth. Enjoy guys. So I'm all snorted out as you can see and now we're gonna make breakfast. So these are oatmeal with blueberries. I'm gonna have some cheese on the side. That's gonna be my breakfast. Then I'm going to make herbal tea to go with me. I'm gonna make another type of tea that I'll show you at the very end. Um, it's interesting and I might have to make a separate video for that. But here we go. What we have in here are raspberries, chamomile, 
a little bit of sage, and this is peppermint tea that I like to add because it makes everything taste so yummy. So now I'm gonna put my kind of <laughs> used lemon, but it's still good, so I'm gonna put it in there. I, I find it that lemon zest adds a lot of texture and flavor, flavor especially. And now we are going to brew it with hot water. Ooh, it's one of my favorite parts when everything just comes together. There we go. Now we're gonna have it sit there until I'm doing everything else. I'm gonna have breakfast, I'm gonna go answer some emails, right? And let it brew. While we're on the topic of food, here's my lunch, guys. So, what I'm bringing together, I love to eat buckwheat. I grew up on it. So on the bottom, I have some buckwheat that I cooked this week. I have on the side here some cauliflower, uh, microwave baked with uh, a few spices and primarily turmeric. I find turmeric's really good for you. And some chicken that I baked last night. So yeah, it's gonna be yummy. Also gonna top that off with a fresh, these are fresh vegetable salad. <laughs> they don't look so good because I've had them for a couple of days, but um, they're really yummy. So here I have pumpkin, I have um, beads, um, what else do we have here? Uh, oh, yeah, um, radish. Yes, uh, so I love all of those. I mix them together and I had some spiced onion in a jar that was kind of fresh, but tastes really, really yummy. And so I mix these all together, all natural stuff. And this is how I keep myself healthy. Make sure I bring homemade food. And I love to cook too. There's not a lot of time, but I love to cook. So there we go, this is gonna be my lunch. So guys, this is a replica of a Russian samovar. I got it at the festival, Taste of Russia, this past weekend where I performed. I got it as a gift. So what it does, it stores tea. Okay, that's tea in it. All my fans, all my fans know that I love tea, and tea and chocolate is the best gift you can give me. Now what I do after breakfast, is if it's day one or day two that depends so i'm on a binary schedule guys one day means in the morning i do funerals then i'm out of the house by 10 a.m and all i have day to do for is pack lunch make breakfast prettify my face get dressed ready for the day bring things that i need to teach my students and go right so and often i don't come back if it's um a big gap i might come back just because i like to be at home sometimes to recharge but most of the times i just go straight to work in mississauga and if it's day two when i have a gig or i have time in the morning and i'm busier in the evening then what i do next is i'm gonna get to my computer answer some emails make some phone calls respond to requests that i had this week usually get a lot and I'm gonna sit down, do a little bit of editing of this vlog actually, do a little bit of preparation for my podcast this weekend that I'm really looking forward to. <clears throat> I like to be ready in advance and I pre-write some emails, I pre-write drafts for myself. So whenever I feel inspired, I can just um, write them out my phone notepad and then send them to myself by email or then get home and you know expand on that and publish them so I like to be ready I like to plan and I feel like that's the thing with many artists is um, that if you want to get anywhere you have to plan you have to have a strategy you have to have things ready so you have to think ahead of time and get those things ready so that they can happen on time right so anyway I'm gonna go make some more tea for myself to drink. This is a different kind of tea and I'll make a separate video about it. I actually wrote a whole book about why I drink it this way. This is black tea with milk and a pinch of salt. So, amongst the busy morning, evening, afternoon routine, whichever your time is, make sure you have five minutes to just sit and sip on the tea. If you can see, you can't I'll show you there we go this is milk salt and black tea what that signifies in my culture is um, it actually kind of Eastern culture as well so it's from Kazakhstan the whole idea is very close to Tibetan Buddhism but a little different it's not that much religious it's more of a scientific spirituality arts everything coming together to give you a method of self-realization and tea is one of those elements I've actually written a book on it. I don't want to bore you now, and I have to go too, so we're not going to stay too long. I have written a book on it. It's called My Keto Immortality, and in it I explain what the tea means, 
what this whole method Ayla Ayat means. So yes, I really can't wait to check it out with you, see if you like it, see if you read the book. Some of you have read the book and told me they really liked it. I've written in 2012, I was relatively younger and some of the wording I would use now would be different to explain the same concepts, but I think it still makes the point that it needs to make. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to editing, packing up for my show tonight, and then I'll see you guys when I'm all packed up so we can do a check for all the items that I need for tonight. See you then. So just out of the shower, guys. <laughs> Whew, I feel so late. Now it's time to start packing up for my gig tonight. Hey guys, so this is the stuff I'll be putting on my body when I perform. So most important thing is this wireless. <laughs> and I have a little pocket for it made for my very favorite bra. As you can see, it's kind of broken, so I pin it a little bit. I don't like any other bra and I honestly hate going shopping, so I really like this guy. Then it's the only one that doesn't slide on me. It's strapless. It has a system here that it kind of attaches to my body and stays really well. I don't know what it is, but it just works. So then I have a black skirt, long, black shirt, black top, make sure that it covers <laughs> up to my elbow. I'm doing a traditional Jewish event today, so that's the kind of uniform I have for it. And it still looks very appealing, so yay. Here are my most favorite ever epic performance boots. As you can see, I've worn them a lot. You would not believe the story behind this. These are $6 from Valley Village or Goodwill, something like that, <laughs> many, many years ago. And I love them. I purchased them originally as character boots for a video shoot. But then I love them so much that <laughs> look how much I destroyed the heels. They have been fixed already. They've been repaired. And I love them the most because they're not too high. They look very chic and they're just really comfy to perform in. For me, it's always the upper back that bothers me after I do some time of standing or sitting or any one position kind of activity or after the computer, that's the worst. So I do this stretch to straighten my back and then later tonight I'm gonna do a full session of combination of Tai Chi, uh, a bit of martial arts, some things that I've invented that I like to dance with and yoga. So look forward to it. Hey guys, so I'm ready to leave. Here's my gear that I'm bringing to today's kind of a lightweight day. So I'm only bringing my wireless, my violin, uh, my purse with a laptop and all the sound files that I need, my lunch bag <laughs> that also has spare clothes because I sweat a lot when I perform. So, and I also kind of look like a robot here because <laughs> this is my wireless. I'm wearing it already and then I just plug into the system with my Yamaha violin and we're good to go. So it's looking to be a nice, nice evening in Toronto. It started raining, but it's still kind of bright outside, so it's fine. <laughs> and normally what I bring on top of it is the speakers that I have hanging right here, right? So it's a portable speaker system and there's a bag of cords with them too. So they're kind of heavy. If I have to do that, I usually have to hire help. <laughs> so there we go. And my boots are looking good happy to be wearing them and I should be back within a couple hours and then we can move on to our next part. See you there!
Hi guys, so this is me, job well done, all finished at Le Jordan here and we're gonna have another event in a couple weeks in the same place, so I'm excited. <laughs> and I could not videotape some of the parts because there was no place to put my phone so you could see me. <laughs> but I will show you some things, so stay tuned. It's 8.15 and I'm back home from the gig. I already showered because I felt a little sweaty. <laughs> so today is kind of an early day. Yay, that means it gives me two hours now to keep editing the video, to maybe even finish tonight and do some practicing that I haven't done yet. So <laughs> my boyfriend's packing for his trip to Europe. So we're kind of cleaning stuff today. So yay! Normally I would still be in Mississauga teaching until about 9 p.m. Um, and then by the time I'm home it's already 10. So today, oh, and we also have this water thing happening. So I have buckets of water behind me saved up just in case we need to brush our teeth or flush the toilet or something during that period. So yay! I'm excited to show you the rest and maybe we'll go to day two right also so you get to see the set of production things when they're happening right can't wait hey guys so i'm almost done editing the first part of the video i wanted to make it a one day video but it looks like i have three different types of days in my life one of them is what you just saw it's the gig day right which is usually weekend but this week it was a thursday so that was kind of interesting then number two is my teaching day and funeral gig so i think i'll show you that next so stay tuned for part two it will be my morning job and my teaching job a little preview and insight then part three i want to share with you a little bit of our production of the album uh, a little bit of a studio time uh, the people that I recorded with that are amazing playing these unique instruments so i can't wait to show you that part meanwhile we're getting ready to go to bed <laughs> and oh i lost my exercise video i don't know where it went i wanted to show you how i exercise well maybe i'll add it to the next part all right so okay well see you guys have a great night and i'll see you in the morning with part 